Yes, this is Ross Jonathan and his wife, Yo. And we're standing outside of Publix headquarters in Lakeland, Florida. It's December 25th, 2013. Commonly known as Christmas Day. And on March 17th, 2013, we came here to protest what we consider to be modern day slavery. We get one cent for every pound of tomatoes for the indigenous people. And we parked our cars here, where we were told, we parked our car here with the other cars that were here for the protest. It was just my wife and I, and uh, we didn't know the other protesters, but we were hoping to meet some people. And uh, we were waiting here to go to the front of the protest, and I decided to take a picture with my sign in front of the Publix headquarters sign which is right there in front of us. And I walked towards that sign. Um, I gave the camera to my wife who was standing, where were you standing Em, when I walked to that sign? I was standing over here. You were standing where? You have to stand where you're standing. Go ahead. With the camera. There. And I walked towards the sign. I was told to get into the crosswalk by somebody who was over there in the security booth. I turned around and immediately began to walk into a crosswalk, which I believe there may have existed a crosswalk right here. Um, it doesn't appear to be there anymore, but I believe there was a crosswalk about where those lines are. And I went into the crosswalk and I began to turn towards the camera where my wife was standing. Where were you standing at? About, what do you think? You just have to try to remember. My wife was standing there, either on the curb or somewhere in this crosswalk, and she began to take a picture of me where I was standing, I believe, in that crosswalk. I heard um, I was being pursued from that direction, so immediately I got onto this area right here, which is a physical concrete sidewalk. And I was pursued after until the officer reached myself, and he was standing in front of me, facing the camera about this direction. Um, there was a witness on my left side that came up to our aid to try to cool the officer down. She was standing about where my wife is right now. And the officer went through what I consider to be about a two minute warning about, you know, getting on this, apparently, what is private property. Um, I complied, I told him I understood. He asked for my ID. I told him I did not have an ID. At that point, he grabbed myself and he dragged myself over in that direction. Where did he drag? that you saw. Yeah. He dragged myself over in this direction to this grass area and threw me down. I was still recording this incident from the point where he came up to me at the, when I was on the curb all through the assault where he threw me down on the grass right here. At that point, what happened? What did you do, Am? I was pleading you. My, my wife came to my aid to plead for my help. I knew I was in some sort of a problem, so I took my keys and threw them at my wife and asked her to leave and go home. And at that point, he said, quote, she's not going anywhere, end quote, and took my wife and threw her down on top of me. And he was on top of, he was on top of myself and with my wife in between which later turned into him choking me with his left arm and sexually assaulting my wife by groping her, um, dry humping her on top of her next to myself. Um, at some point, it appeared that he walked over in that direction and was on the radio while we still lied here and there were several witnesses that were over in that direction, two with cameras out that were recording the whole incident. Um, 
the girl had tried to come to her aid at some point, and what did he say? He asked her if she wanted to get arrested too. The woman, the, 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 the young woman that was with us over on that curb that was trying to help us had actually came over in this direction and tried to help us as well, and, and that was his response. Um, the second officer arrived at the scene, and from what I remember, he was the one that actually picked me up off this grass area, asked me if those were my glasses on the ground. He was, he was professional, and he, he, he put me in the car. Um, and my wife was taken in that area, and what, how were you treated, Em? Very... What happened, Em? He, he went to go search me, and he never asked me to spread my legs. So my wife had her leg, legs kicked open after she was sexually assaulted by the same officer. Um, she was, you know, assaulted in that fashion, which I witnessed that as well. Um, and then we went to the hospital. I, for myself, having neck injuries and my wife having some breathing issues. And um, we were chased down at the hospital where he um, went into my wife's room first. And what did he say? What, what do you remember from that conversation, Em? He was telling me that I made a mistake. I just made a mistake. But I made no mistake. So he wanted some sort of confession out of my wife. And did you say something about anything else that you remember? And he was just saying, I'm, I'm going to have six years. Six yeah. years. He kept threatening us with six years. And my wife, you said something about the Ten Commandments. That's what I remember you, you telling me. That we didn't break any laws. Yeah. So then he went into my room and tried to get me to say something, which I didn't have anything to say to him this whole time and um, and we also went to file reports to the Lakeland Police Department the day after we were released from, from jail which was two nights in jail and um, they took uh, officer Captain Thomason who's now been fired um, took us in the back room and, and, and tried to get us to, to talk about this, this situation here but um, we weren't there to talk about that. We were there to press charges on the officer that had assaulted myself and sexually and physically assaulted my wife. And there was also one more witness on the uh, Dirty Ledger report that was put out um, that did state that he was here somewhere and he did see us being assaulted. A felony assault, quote unquote, a felony assault by the officer. And uh, we do have that statement.